<clears throat> Any comfortable meditative posture, spine erect, shoulders relaxed. Bring the elbows by the sides of your body. Place the back of your hands on your thighs, arms facing up, eyes softly closed. Three deep breaths. Coming home to here and now. Our body and the breath are always here and now. Let us also bring our attention to here and now. Paying attention to <clears throat> body sensations. Breath. Any feeling tone, positive, negative, neutral, feeling torn. Without straining to attend to what is happening, in a completely relaxed way, paying attention. Not um, having anything, experience, not doing anything. Just be the flow of experience that is automatically going on. Magnificent. Law of experience. Miraculous. We are alive and aware. If the mind wanders, begin again with this breath. 
being here and now. Palms to the heart center. Namaskar, Mitra. May this practice be for the benefit of all. Chin to the chest. Gently open your eyes. Inhaling, arms by the side, palms going up, looking up. Exhaling, palms coming down to the chest, looking down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, stretching the throat just a bit. Exhaling down, stretching the back of your neck just a bit. And one more round, inhaling up, exhaling down. Release. Come up to standing. Separate your feet, broad stance. Hands on the waist. Look down, your toes are pointing directly forward rather than flaring out. Usually they tend to be pointing out. In fact, have your toes just a bit pointing toward each other slightly so you don't collapse your weight on your inner arches <clears throat> your weight distribution is comfortably on the outer edges of your feet as well <clears throat> moving your hip toward the right wall bend toward the left wall and look over your right shoulder Look over your right shoulder. Inhaling center. Exhaling, move your left hip toward the left wall, bend toward the right wall and look over the left shoulder. Inhaling center. You might also feel the posture on your inner legs. Four more rounds. After completing five rounds, take a deep breath, exhale. Inhaling, move your hips forward, take the arms out and toward the back as you look up, chest forward, back bend. Next exhalation, bending forward from the hips, hugging yourself, chin to the chest. You can bend the knees as you bend forward. Your chin is going toward the chest. You're hugging yourself. Your shoulder blades are moving away from each other. 
Next inhalation, go for a back bend, shoulder blades going toward each other, arms out and to the back, look up, stretching the throat if you can. And next exhalation, hugging yourself, bend from the hips, forward chin to the chest. Three more rounds. <clears throat> You don't have to drop the head in the back as you go for back bend. If that makes you dizzy, simply look up, chin closer to the chest. Not just. Um, following my instructions for movements, your attention is what is happening right here and right now. To your own body, your own breath, your own emotional state. What others are doing or not doing is irrelevant. Paying attention to what is going on. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms to the sides, parallel to the ground. Palms facing the front. Inhaling center, exhaling, twisting to the right as much as you can. Looking over and past the right shoulder if you can. And inhaling center. Exhaling, twisting to the left as much as you can. Turn your head as much as you can. Inhaling center. Four more rounds. You can also pay attention to what your hip joints are telling you as you twist. There are muscles connecting from the shoulders to the hips. like in a formation of X. After completing five rounds, hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Remember the practice is attention to what is now. And all the instructions are kind of a tool to keep, bring and keep the attention here. Take another deep breath, exhale. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Inhaling center, exhaling, bending forward halfway. You can bend the knees halfway. Look at the back of your hands. Five deep breaths. You can slightly bend the knees, not a problem. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling up. Exhaling, release arms, hands on the waist. Take a deep breath. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Keeping the weight distribution even throughout the practice, bending your knees, sitting back in an imaginary chair, Utkatasana variation. Remember to keep the weight distribution even on your feet, both feet, five. Four, three, two, one. Inhaling up, exhaling, release arms. Hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. 
arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Inhale center, exhaling, twist toward the right wall, facing the right wall. Twist and face the right wall. Next inhalation, gentle back bend. Take your arms toward the left wall. Yes, toward the back. Three, two, one. Inhaling, come all the way to the center. Next exhalation, twisting toward the left wall. Next inhalation, gentle back bend. Three, two, one. Inhaling center, all the way center. Hands on the waist. Bring your feet comfortably closer, release arms. Stand relaxed. Warming up before the practice or as part of the practice, not only to center ourselves, but also to warm up. It's a good way to begin. Take another deep breath. Front of the mat. Tadasana. Namaskar Mudra. Diligence and attention throughout the practice. Three rounds of Surya Namaskara, breath coordinated movements begin. Inhaling as you open, exhaling as you close. Each posture. There is a great show that is going on in your own body, breath and mind. And you can be the only witness to that. Remember, there is no perfection in the posture. Perfection is in the diligence to reach for the edge and attention. If the mind wanders, begin again. <clears throat> Uh, 
after completing three rounds, stand relaxed. Feet comfortably separated. <clears throat> <clears throat> Even as you stand relaxed. Million things are going. A grand show. Just for your. <clears throat> enjoyment. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Life as it flows. Remember, Hatha Yoga practice is to <clears throat> allow the life energy to flow without any blockages or leakages, <clears throat> balancing the energies. <clears throat> Not so much as to lose the energy, but to wake up the energies and have them flow as magnificently as they are designed to flow. And a well-balanced energy flow is what we call health, <clears throat> physical and mental health. Take three deep breaths. Let us approach Dhanurasana. <clears throat> we'll prepare to approach Dhanurasana. <clears throat> Feet hip width apart. Standing straight, take your arms toward the back wall as much as you can. You can have the arms parallel to each other, palms facing up. <clears throat> Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Release arms. Take a deep breath, exhale. Take your arms all the way up toward the ceiling. Keep them parallel to each other, palms facing the front. <clears throat> arms up, palms facing the front. Take the arms, just the arms toward the back wall. Rest of the body stays where it is. Arms toward the back wall. Five. Four. Two, one, release arms. <clears throat> Take a deep breath, exhale. Place palms on your glutes. You can even slide the palms down the back of the thighs if you can. Inhale center, exhaling, move the hips forward and slide the palm downward as you look up. Palms are sliding down the back of your thighs. Five. Chest up, hips forward, chest up. Shoulder blades to, toward each other. Three. Two. 
one. Inhaling up, exhaling, release. Take a deep breath, exhale. Let's approach um, Adomuka and then Uzo Mukha. We'll first practice this separately and then we can do this in a sequence. <clears throat> Under the mat, Tadasana. Namaskaram Mudra. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Hold your elbows, surrender. Your elbows are hanging down dangling down they're not resting on your knees or shins shoulders relaxing down your elbows hanging down head hanging down you can slightly bend the knees <clears throat> allow your abdomen to be placed on the top of the thighs as much as you can Those who can keep the abdomen and the thighs connected can straighten up the knees. But when the abdomen is disconnecting from the thighs, stop. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Allow the arms to hang loose, fingers by the sides of your feet. Inhaling, right foot back. Left foot back. Plank, <clears throat> hold, plank, five. Four, shoulder blades away from each other. Abdomen fully engaged, three, two, one. Ado Mukeshwanasana, downward facing dog. Look at your palms and fingers. Make sure that palms and all the fingers are rooting to the mat. And then release the head down. You can be on the toes, knees can be slightly bent, but without moving the palms, allow the head to move away from your palms. Allow the seed bones to move away from the palms as much as you can. Your chest moving toward the knees, shoulder blades coming toward each other on your back. Five. Uh, Akriti can slightly bend the knees and go deeper. Slightly bend the knees and go deeper. Yes, very good. Four. Three. Two. One. Gently place the knees down. Vajrasana. If Vajrasana is not comfortable, Sukhasana. Just being comfortable with what is happening right now. Not doing, just being here. Just being here. Take a deep breath, exhale. Come to cat posture. Plank posture. A modification of Urdhva Now, slowly allow the hips to go down, chest to move 
toward the front, look to the front. Allow the hips to go down as much as you can. Your ears going up away <coughs> from the shoulders. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Plank. Adomaka. Gently place your knees down, Vajrasana. If Vajrasana is not comfortable for you today, Sukhasana. Activation and relaxation are also part of Hatha Yoga practice. Not all activation or not all relaxation. Done just in the right balance. Take another deep breath, exhale. Cat posture. Now we are going to do this in a sequence. <clears throat> Urdhvamukha, Urdhvamukha. But this time when we're doing Urdhvamukha, we're going to place the knees down, stretch the toes or stretch the ankle back, and then bring the chest forward and then lift the knees. I will give instructions. <clears throat> Come to plank. Adhvamukha. Plank. Gently place the knees down. Toes pointing back. Allow the hips to go forward and down. Chest forward facing the front. And press the ankles down and lift the knees off the mat. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, knees down, plank. Adho Mukha. Drop your knees down, Vajrasana. Deep breath, exhale. Practice Vushtrasana. Standing on your knees, knees hip width apart. <clears throat> Tuck your toes in. A, a modification of Vushtrasana. Um, where I am going to give instructions to reach for the heels. If you're not able to reach the heels, first let's practice uh, as a more <clears throat> relaxed posture. Place your palms on your glutes and back of your thighs if you can. <clears throat> Remember, we did this uh, standing up. Inhaling, move your hips forward. Chest up, look up, slide the palms down to the back of your knees if you can. Drop your head completely in the back only if you're comfortable. Otherwise, simply keep looking up. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling up, exhaling Vajrasana. So next time we are going to approach Vushtras and I'm going to give instructions for a deeper practice. If you're not able to reach your heels, simply practice with as much benefits. If this is uh, what your body allows you without aggression to do today.
Take a deep breath. Standing on the knees. Toes tucked in. Right arm up toward the ceiling. Reach up. Open your shoulders and rotate your shoulders and then find your right heel with your right hand. Left arm up, reach for the ceiling. Rotate your arms, rotate your arm and then find the left heel. Conscious, look to the front for now. Consciously move your hips forward and then chest forward and then look up at the ceiling. If you are really comfortable, drop your head, stretching the throat. Otherwise, simply look up. Five deep breaths. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Right hand on the right waist, left hand on the left waist. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, Vajrasana. Take a deep breath, exhale. Let's practice um, next um, deeper approach to Vushtrasana. Now, if that is not accessible, you can simply practice one of the previous options. Take a deep breath. Standing on the knees. Knees hip width apart, toes pointing to the back wall. Your feet are hip width apart, knees are hip width apart. Right arm up, reach up and rotate the arm and find the right heel. Left arm up, rotate the arm and find the left heel. Look to the front, move the hips forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades and move the chest forward and look up. And those who are comfortable, slide the palms and place the palms on the top of your soles of your feet. Five deep breaths, five. Three, two, one. Right hand on the right waist, left hand on the left waist. Inhaling, come up. Vajrasana. Lie down on your stomach. Makarasana. Stack your hands and cheek, your cheek on stacked hands. Allow your legs to be comfortably separated. Even off the mat is okay. Try pointing the toes away from each other with the inner feet on the ground. See if that completely relaxes your lower back. If that does not, see if you can point the toes toward each other. Maybe that will relax the lower back. And even if that is not, simply point the toes toward the back wall. Whichever posture of your feet, you should feel utterly relaxed, relaxing your lower back. Makarasana is a relaxing posture. You shouldn't be struggling with this posture.
and watch the breath more prominently on your back. Your abdomen is restricted, part of your chest is restricted. Naturally, there will be, there is room for expansion on your back. Life finds a way. And watch that. Take a deep breath, exhale. Bring your legs hip width apart. Chin down on the ground. Take your arms close to the body. Bend your knees. Soles of your feet pointing up. Place your palms on the glutes. Inhaling, chin up, head up, chest up, palms sliding toward the back of your knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhaling, release the posture, Makarasana. Now, what we just practice is um, more approachable step toward Dhanurasana. If the deeper instructions are not yet, or your body is not yet there for you today, you can simply practice what we just did, more accessible, with the same benefits. <clears throat> Not that there is any less benefit. If you are finding your edge just with this posture, take a deep breath. Bring your legs hip width apart, chin down, take your arms close to the body, bend your knees. Forehead on the ground, grab hold of your ankles or toes, whichever you can. Your shoulder blades are closer together on the back. Your arms are stretched. Next inhalation, chin up head up, chest up, and kick the legs back so your arms stay stretched, knees off the mat, you're balancing on your navel. Dhanurasana practice, five, four, three, two, one, knees down, hold your hands exactly where they are, forehead on the ground, rest. Forehead on the ground, rest. We're going to practice this one more time. Um, in Dhanurasana, you're balancing on your navel. Your toes are traveling toward the ceiling. The roof of your head is traveling toward the ceiling. Shoulder blades are squeezed together on the back. Next inhalation, chin up, head up, chest up, kicking the legs back, knees off the mat, toes going toward the ceiling, head rising up toward the ceiling. Five deep breaths, five. Four, three, two, 
one exhaling chin down release the legs release the arms makarasana Take a deep breath, exhale. Roll onto your back. Keep your legs together. Allow the feet to relax. Keep your arms close to the body, palms facing down. Take a deep breath, exhale. Gently bend your knees, feet on the mat. This is a slightly deeper counter posture. And when you're ready, hug your knees. Back back and forth. Side to side. Settle back down. Make any final movements you feel necessary before. Proceeding to Shavasana. Letting go of your body. Being fully engaged to what is flowing right now, right here. You're fully engaged with life as it is flowing right here and now. And yet, utterly relaxed. Imagine your body getting lighter and lighter and lighter. A cloud of energy movement. You're free. You are engaged fully. Relax.
Everything else can wait. Relax. We are alive <laughs> and aware. That <clears throat> is sufficient for joy. Bliss. Relax. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently come out of Shavasana. Take your time. Any meditative posture, eyes closed. Arms open and facing up. Fingers completely relaxed. Shoulders completely relaxed. Stay with what is happening in your palms as you breathe in and out. Nothing to do, nothing to improve. Just stay with what is happening around your palms. Gently shifting your attention to your abdomen. Simply stay with what is happening in your abdomen area as you breathe in and out. Gently shifting your attention to your heart center. Stay with what is happening as you breathe in and out.
Shifting your attention to your face. Stay with what is happening. With your attention resting on your face as you inhale and exhale. Take your hands back, catch the left wrist with the right hand. Inhaling, growing taller, exhaling, bending forward, thanking Mother Earth. Inhaling up, rubbing your palms, generating heat. Massaging your closed eyes gently, Blinking your eyes open. Namaste. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Have a good evening and a good day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank